in a world where the creative landscape is changing rapidly with AI, we now have another tool to compete against, to use, to be afraid of in OpenAI's new Sora. It is a beautiful drone shot. The kind of video that you might see in a travel video, right? Except it's not real. OpenAI has unveiled its new text-to-video model. It's calling it Sora. It generates videos up to one minute long based on whatever prompt a user types into a text box. Wow, <laughs> look at that. We're done. In this video, I'm gonna be going over three things to do with Sora. One, what is it? Two, as a solo creator, and many of you I'm sure also, is it something we should be fearful of? And three, where I think this is really gonna be utilized and a huge aspect of, uh, of our businesses in the future. So Sora is a generative AI model developed by OpenAI to create video assets the same way that a videographer would go out and just capture video assets if they needed them. It's all gonna be from text descriptions, just like you would give a prompt to ChatGPT, you would give a prompt to Sora, and it would pop out a video, much like it would Dolly or any of these other aspects. Super interesting, super scary, but also I think has a lot of potential to really help us out as creators. Uh, as you can see in these clips, it's not perfect. There's little things, little nuances to it that, that need to be reshaped and, and done it's gonna get better from here. And that's kind of the consensus that I'm seeing from everybody. And also, you know, as someone who's used ChatGPT and Dolly and other forms of, of uh, AI-based stuff, is it's just getting better and better and better. If you watch these clips, you can see that it's pretty dang close. It's not perfect, but it's pretty dang close. And I think it's, it's pretty cool to, to watch this and you can pick things out and you can kind of see things that aren't right. But at the same time, holy crap, like this is huge to help us out with so many things, which I'll get to later on in this video. Going on to my second point, as a video creator, am I afraid of this? And the answer is no, I'm not. I think that we're always gonna need creators behind cameras to give our perspective, but as well as capturing the perspective of our clients. A lot of people don't know what they want until they see it. And if they're sitting behind a computer typing away, um, they can get there, but it does take time and they have to kind of figure that out on their own. Whereas, you know, someone who is trained using these and has experience in the field in different aspects, using cameras and giving the perspective of somebody who has been doing this for a long time, there's no, could it get there? Sure. I, I really don't think that people are going to just abandon the, the videographer, cinematographer model and go after something like Sora because it's there. I think that it's a, it can help, only help. And that's where I get into my third point. Where do I see this helping out for everybody? And that's really getting rid of stock footage sites. Stock footage sites are great. They have a ton of assets at your disposal. I've used them a lot in my, in my career so far. But if I can just type in exactly what I need and it pops out a video for 20 bucks a month, as well as having ChatGPT and Dolly and everything built into the same thing, let's, let's hope it stays at $20 a month. But if it stays in that realm of things, I don't, I, I think that's a win-win. That's a huge win for us creatives because I mean, how many times have you gone to a, a stock footage site and it's, you know, pff, name the price, $70 a month or $100 for per clip, or, you know, if you want to do a, a per clip or per video, or if you want to do a subscription, it's crazy expensive for these for these things. So if you can have ChatGPT or Sora and just type in what you need and out pops this video that's pretty dang close, and granted you might only use a certain little section of it because it falls off completely at the end of it or whatever, just like the, the photo side of it, or, you know, your your chat GPT prompts where you have it ask it to write a blog or something for you and it's like a quarter of it's great and the rest of it's trash that's the same thing you're going to get out of Sora now it's getting harder to differentiate that my my blogs I have written through chat GPT now are getting closer and closer and closer and that's me fine-tuning the the prompt that's also chat GPT getting better and better and better and as the Sora gets better it can only benefit us I think in the future in the long term um, I'm not anti-AI. I think that AI can be a huge benefit to us. It has been a huge benefit to me so far. 
I just wanted to get ahead of this and, and talk about it a little bit because I had some perspective on it. And I think that it's fun to play with these tools, to utilize them in the way that they're supposed to be, but then also push the boundaries and use them in ways that people didn't think they were going to be used. Because that's the cool part about being human with our brains, something that AI can't do, is we can manipulate these things to be whatever we want them to be. Am I afraid of like AI taking over or learning or being, becoming sentient? Not really, because I think that humans will always have that power to unplug. You can always step away from your devices. You can always step away. I mean, granted, it's going to manipulate things. Uh, people will manipulate things to affect, you know, the presidential elections or society or, you know, things like that with these as they get better. But that's, that's where we come into play as far as putting guidelines and rules and regulations on them, which... I love the freedom of being able to do whatever you want to do with this stuff, but I also see the other side where it can get super gray lined on like what is right and what is wrong when it comes to AI specifically. It's such a great time to be alive and to, to witness this stuff happening in front of us. It's so scary. Did I ever think that we would be here? No. Did I ever think that Terminator would like come to reality? No. <laughs> but can it? I mean, yeah, it could definitely happen if we're not careful about it and uh we kind of and we just we have to put regulations on this stuff in some aspects um having it free to everybody and being able to utilize it i think is so beneficial but at the same time very scary and it just comes down to what we're willing to say is right and what we're willing to say is wrong and as a society as a as humans we kind of need to push this in the right direction or else it could be too little too late and we just have to kind of see what happens. So with that said, maybe you guys got something from this video. <laughs> hit, hit that thumbs up button if you did. Uh, whatever your opinion is, maybe leave a comment down below. Let's let's talk about this. I think this is a super interesting topic to touch on. Uh, what do you think Sora is gonna become? And how do you think Sora is going to benefit us or hurt us? With that said, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.